guys, welcome back to my channel. So, iba na naman yung setup ko today, but as you've seen naman in the title, this video is really about how I'm surviving the work from home. So, I'll be sharing with you some of the ways um, I found that works for me and helped me survive work from home. Some of you may know, I am a social media associate in an advertising company based in Makati. So, we're actually um, in a work from home setup ever since April. By the time I upload this, baka December na. So, that's um, April, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So, um, almost nine months um, working from home. So, within those nine months, I just want to share with you the things I learned. Okay, so I listed down 10. So, sorry, ang gulo nung, <laughs> nung handwriting. I listed down 10 that I think worked for me during the work from home setup. Okay, number one, I found a routine that works for me. So you may read in some articles na you have to wake up early, you have to dress up early, ganyan. But there are specific routines talaga that work for, for different people. What worked for me kasi is to wake up early at around 8. So by then, I worked na on some of the deliverables that I had for the day. If I kong go in within that morning, I, I whip up some coffee. So, of course, we need coffee to start our day. And basically, I get um, to work again. So that, that is something that works for me because I get to take off um, some of my to-do list na as early as um, in the morning. Okay, number two, I try to finish everything within the work hours. My work starts at around 10 and probably ends at 7. So, uh, around that means at 9 to 6. So, it really depends um, in the work from home setup now. But what I've noticed is people start working at 10 and then we end at around 7. So, for that, I really make sure that I work within those hours para um, even I'm at home, hindi pa rin ako overtime. The hours after, before and after the work are really important for your sanity. So, um, that's for, that's the time really I make time for my personal needs, to have dinner with my family. This is something that really helps us separate the work and the home aspect of the work from home setup. Number three, again, in relation to number two, I make time for my personal needs. This may be hard because when you're working from home, parang all day you have to work, but it doesn't have to be like that. I really make time to to maximize my lunch break. So technically, we still have a lunch break, like 12 to 1. So I make sure that I don't work within that period because that's the time really I have to um, be mindful of my meals, be around with my family before I get back to work. This is something that really worked for me because me break in between, so I make sure to have a little bit of that within my day. I also sneak in a workout. Sometimes during lunch break, I sneak in a workout like 30 minutes long. Number four is I make sure to get enough sleep. So my sleeping routine is I usually sleep at around 12 midnight on a good day 11 uh, hopefully like 11 so then I wake up at 8 a.m. so that gives me about eight hours of sleep which is really enough for me to get through the day to be productive I noticed that if I don't have my I'm not really productive I palpitate because I don't know I need I really need sleep and then chaka, guys we're working from home so your bed is just um beside you, or in my case, uh, uh, beside me. So, diba, what's the reason not to sleep early when you can and get get enough of it, diba? Okay, number five, I always write on my planner. So, it really depends on you kung ha, um, how you want to take off your to-do list. But for me, using my planner really works because I um, highlight the things that I need to do at a sample YouTube video ideas because I can't show you actual work but I really highlight um, the things I'm done na. and then I always keep track of ano pa yung mga kailangan kong gawin within that day and if you fill it out like pag nakita mo na complete na siya it, it's really fulfilling so this is really what works for me because I feel productive and I'm on track with the things I need to do Number six is I try to avoid distractions. My friends outside work would know this. Na 
bihira lang ako magreply on Messenger, even on text messages, except if may shop you deliver. I really try to avoid distractions, because having your phone beside you and super dami no tips can really distract you within the day, especially if nasa mood ka na to work, nasa mood ka na to finish that um, workload. So sayang naman, de ba? So but after naman, after my work hours, I made sure naman to make time for my friends, to make time for um, leisure, to really make time for um, the things I want to do after the work. Seventh tip, tama ba yung count ko? Seventh, <laughs> seventh na atato. But seventh na learning or um, survival tip for me is I savor the weekend. So, meron talaga akong schedule for weekend. So if I spend most of my week working, I make sure also to maximize my weekend because it's lang yung time ko for that. So I savor the weekend. I do errands. Pinapaliguan ko yung dogs ko. I have nine dogs, guys. So I really need to make time for that every Saturday. And this is also my um my day for self care. So. I make sure I work out, I make sure to, um, to eat healthy meals, I cook every weekend. So I love um, the whole self-care routine every weekend because this really helps with our sanity. Eh. So um, even if we're always at home, at least we have something na to keep my mind off the things going on in the world, in the world around us. So yun, Nino for me, that's my errand day, my... Um, uh, weekend routine so I also clean my room every time because this is also my workstation so having a really um, clean setup helps me be more productive and parang mas clear your mind ko whenever I try to think new ideas for um, some brands okay um number eight tip is I have a designated workplace it's really important to have a designated workplace because if you're just on your bed, ang daming pwedeng distractions like nood lang ng YouTube, pag Netflix lang, or mas matulog. So having a designated workplace makes me feel like I'm in the office. And when I start my day, pag mupo na ako here, uh, meron na akong mindset na kailangan ko na mag-work, I have to get things done. Okay, um, number nine, second to the last is I always remind myself that it's a privilege to work from home because we know that there are many jobs that are not there, many opportunities that are not there, especially during the ECQ period, there are many closed. And even if it's opening, um, the employees who are required to go to their specific um, offices or stores are also risking their lives with COVID. So for me, it's really a privilege to work from home, even if sometimes there are days na napagod and it seems like paulit-ulit na lang yung nangyayari with everything, um, not just to work. I always remind myself that I'm very, very lucky to still have a stable job, a stable income in a setup that works for me and that is safe for me and my family. Okay, last na. I promise to keep this video short lang kasi. So, <laughs> yung ibang videos ko kasi parang ang uh, So, last na is I am constantly reminded of the perks um, of working from home. So, when I say perks, aside from that stable job and stable income na I mentioned, again, I'm safe in my own home. Hindi ako nagko-commute. So, that is really a deal breaker for me kasi I work from QC. And I always go to Mahati. So imagine, diba? Like, I'm going to go to MRT, I'm going to go to the So, ang laking ginhawa yun from my end. Para, oh my god. Wala, hindi ko siya na miss at all. So, yun, that's another perk. Another one would be I get to work out regularly. Kasi, when I was still working um, in Makati, nag try ako mag workout in between. Like, in between yung travel ko from. Pra papunta siya pa away. Minsan nag go work out ako sa morning, sa anytime fitness, and minsan sa evening before or after my work. But it doesn't really work for me kasi pagod na pagod ako. Imagine na nag go work out ako, kailangan ko pa mag commute. And then I have this work in between. So it's really exhausting. But for this, I was able to really work out, um, give more time to take care of my body. And that is why I lost weight then. So I'm really happy 
about that. So that's another perk. I can think of so many um, perks, but another one would be nakatipid ako sa meals. So I eat uh, what we have at home. Uh, sometimes I cook for myself. I do the groceries, but. Most of the time, I eat what we have from home. Then I think the last and the most important is um, I get to see my family every day, every day, and even my dogs. Um, ani tong ay dogs ko actually. Wait. Rocky, come here. Para ayon na mapet. <laughs> Ayan. So um, another perk actually is actually my favorite one is. I get to see my family every day. I get to spend more time with my dogs. Because uh, while I was not working from home, I saw them every day. I was around 9. I wanted to sleep. I wanted to sleep. I wanted to sleep. I wanted to sleep. But now, but now I have all the time to really take care of them, to spend time with my family, to have lunch with them, to have um, intimate dinners with them. And I know that we're all safe. I say I'm not risking anyone in the in our homes. So that's pretty much it, guys. I um, shared ten um ways how I'm surviving from home. These are the things that worked for me. My my realizations from working um for nine months at home. So I'm not sure um that I can call these tips, but maybe you have um a couple of experiences as well that can help you relate with what I mentioned kanina. And lastly, before I end this video, first of all, I want to say thank you for watching until the end. I know my videos are kind of long. Sorry, yung ingay ng dogs ko, but I really appreciate people who watch until the end. So if you're working from home like me, I want to remind you in to take it easy. Because we have a bigger problem that we're facing right now with the whole new normal. It's hard to accept that it's new normal, but it's really the bigger problem. So remind yourself that you don't always have to get it right all the time because sometimes everything that's going on around us is really affecting how we work, how we um, become productive. So take it easy, give yourself allowance for mistakes, but still try your best. This is really a privilege for us, for those working from home. So that's it guys, thank you so much again for watching. Remember to always be thankful for everything that you have. Take care of yourself and let's hope that tomorrow will be a better day. Thank you and bye!